My name is Jeff Bowen and I'm a local Chelsea real estate broker. I uh, grew up in East Boston, attended St. Rose in Chelsea, and uh, I'm here with uh, Chuck, Ch Guest. Chuck Guest, and Chuck is a, uh, an artist that's being featured in the, in the Chelsea Art Walk. So you do some acrylic work, it looks we like, do. over here? We do. It's uh, almost all acrylic. Uh, I call it abstract imagery. Okay. I try to uh, paint paintings that evoke a feeling of uh, whatever, like the water. I love the water, so that's probably the thing I do the most. I sure. do a lot of clouds and skies. So the Mystic Brewery was opened about three years ago by a man named Brian Greenhaken, who is a uh, He's a fermentation uh, scientist out of Cambridge, and uh, he loves beer, and he loves great beer, and he really wanted to focus on a brewery here in Chelsea that makes saisons, which is a uh, historic style of beer that tends to be very complex and uh, spicy. Um, definitely not IPAs, which most of the breweries so are making right now. We produce beer in-house. We right do, yep. Here, and yep. you sell it for retail, and now here you're opening a beer. We do, yeah. So as of Wednesday, we're going to have a full pour license. You can come into the brewery, and we'll serve you a full pint of, of beer. I'm Amy Arrington. Amy Arrington. And Scott Arrington. Um, I, we know each other uh, because uh, Amy and Scott uh, have purchased a, a beautiful condo from with me as their real estate agent, and uh, I'm part of the reason why they're here in Chelsea. Absolutely. So you're the main reason we're here in Chelsea. <laughs> you're the main reason we're here in Chelsea. We love it here in Chelsea. We've been here for almost a year now. We just really enjoy uh, all the culture that's here. Um, the Art Walk is a great way to bring the community together, um, which you know we don't get a chance to do all the time. So it's really nice to. Uh, get to meet other members of the community and, and, you know, learn what they're doing for the city as well. The community garden's been here in this spot for about 20 years. The Chelsea Collaborative made a um, coalition with Roca and the landlord and they set this up here about 20 years ago. And Roca is what? An organization for? For youth here in, in uh, Chelsea and nationwide. Over the last five years, uh, some of the gardeners have taken on the responsibility of running the garden as a totally volunteer member purpose and sure. we have worked our little tails off creating this lovely oasis in the garden and we've gone from we've raised money we've gone from 20 families that were here just five years ago to 45. I'm here with uh, Victor Bailey. Hello everybody. Uh, we're here at the 2014 uh, Chelsea Art Walk and uh, Victor's one of the artists that's at the Spencer Lofts Gallery. Well, the work all represents jazz. I am a jazz musician, uh, jazz recording artist, uh, who is a solo artist, former bass player of Weather Report, studio musician. My artwork is all representative of jazz. The works that I have here are portraits of famous jazz people like Miles Davis, uh, Dizzy Gillespie, Art Blakey, Ron Carter, Thelonious Monk. Uh, I came to Chelsea because uh, I've been a professor at Berkeley College of Music in the bass department since 2012 and I was commuting back and forth from New York City and I decided to move to the Boston area. I was looking for a loft uh, space and uh, I was looking uh, on uh, every website you could possibly find and no matter where I went I ended up seeing this guy Jeffrey Bowen and I called him and told him my situation which is I have some problems with my legs so I use a scooter sometimes and he gave me to this perfect loft space here in Chelsea that has a beautiful apartment yep. and parking space right in front of my house. Hi, I'm here with uh, Sylvia Chavez. She's the uh, resident artist here at the uh, Spencer Lofts in Chelsea, Massachusetts. These actually are pieces that I, they're part of a body of work that I've been working on on a project called Fresh Air and it's uh, all portraits of Chelsea residents and the idea was to actually portray them um, holding their breath. So I've been in Chelsea for about nine years now and I, I really love this community. What I love also is that this project has allowed me to meet a lot of people in the community and really feel more connected to it. I think there's such a beautiful variety of people here and the food, the, I actually love the industrial aspects of the city. I think it's really cool to see those giant boats coming through the Chelsea Creek. I'm a sculptor. I've been sculpting for 35 years or so. I've been working with 
Jim here at tw for 20 years, and they asked me to do a show for the Chelsea Art Walk. I sculpt in my spare time. And tell us a little bit about the process of what material this is, how long it would take you to make this piece, what it's about. It takes about a year to do a piece. I can do only two pieces a year. Um, you do the clay, and, and then you have to make the mold. All the foundry work is done here, making the mold and uh, the waxes and chasing it into metal. Okay. Um, this is one of a dozen awards in New York City, best of shows. Oh, really? So she's my most successful piece. I was a uh, photographer for the Chelsea Record. Oh, okay. And uh, I started working at the Chelsea Record in 1977. And so all of these photographs were taken um, while I worked at the Chelsea Record. Okay. I have 20,000 black and white negatives. I was a photographer before there was a digital imagery, so all of my images are in film. Well, this picture right here was uh, one that was on the poster. It's, uh, we call it the last house on 3rd Street. Okay. And after the Chelsea Fire of 1973, there were maybe 10 or 12 houses left. They were all knocked down, except this was the last one to come down. I'm here at the new waterfront park here in Chelsea, Massachusetts at the Chelsea Creek, uh, known as Port Park. Uh, the Port Park was uh, reclaimed land uh, donated by the Eastern Salt Company and they demolished four huge storage tanks of oil and placed this wonderful park and they reclaimed and reused parts of all of the oil tanks. Uh, this is the newest park of Chelsea and there's seven on, on the way. Um, you, if you come take a look at the, uh, there's basketball courts here. Uh, you can sit here and have a picnic. The sun sets right over the Tobin Bridge behind us. This ain't your daddy's Chelsea anymore. <laughs>